Hey guys, Lou Lombardi back here with Lester P, right? Okay, remember, this, it's not a quiz, <laughs> but that's from the previous video. This is part two of my uh, Getting to Know Lou Lombardi series here. Uh, same guitar, same studio, different shirt, all right? I'm wearing uh, Dead Gumbies. I love the Dead Gumbies. The Dead Gumbies are a band from Cleveland, Ohio that I've played with a few times. They're very, very, very freaking awesome. And this brings... Up. <laughs> what I really kind of want to talk to you guys about today, tell you guys about me that you probably don't know since you don't know me, is one of the things I love to do is I love to help other musicians. Um, I'm wildly passionate about it and probably um, that got developed early on for me. Uh, I had only really been playing guitar uh, for a very short period of time when my guitar teacher at the time, Tony Janflin Sr., encouraged me to take a gig teaching at a music store and I was like really scared, you know, scared the crap out of me because I was really hadn't been playing that long, you know. But I knew more than the students. They, you know, they hadn't, they were just learning. Uh, so he encouraged me to do that. So I'm grateful I did that because I, I found a real love for teaching and helping other people. Uh, it was a service that I was really uh, happy to, to, how do I want to put this? It was something that I did not know about myself that I really discovered about myself, like being a, being of service or being a servant to people. Um, for a lot of, lot of really important ways. And if you guys ever get a chance to teach anything that you know, so say you're a, uh, an auto mechanic or you're a dentist or you're a lawyer or whatever, and you get a chance to kind of, uh, you know, give a little, give, you know, occasionally give a talk at maybe at a community center or something like that, uh, you're going to find it really, really rewarding uh, because it's a, because, the, well, first of all, there's a lot of reasons why it's really rewarding. Um, this is totally me, guys. So, I, like, I kind of lose my place at times. It's just me. Um, first of all, you're reviewing stuff that you know or should know. And by doing that, you're kind of re-solidifying the basics. So whatever your thing is, uh, you're kind of getting regrounded in the basics of it, which we all know we need to do. We all need to kind of occasionally go back and review the basics. And when you do that, it really kind of solidifies what you do for yourself in a, um, in a much deeper, deeper way. Uh, you know, when I started teaching, you know, sitting and playing the guitar with students, like the idea of uh, harmonic structure, what a lot of people call music theory, got reinforced because I was teaching it. So I like, I really knew the modes and the scales and the chords. And I was like really, really good on it because I was talking about it, working with it every day. And then the idea that I was just had my hands on the guitar every day for hours and hours and hours teaching was really good for my technique. Uh, also, people will have questions. So if you teach something, people will very often give you questions. And they're not trying to stump you, um, but they have legitimate things that maybe you don't think about. You're so used to doing it, you don't see it from that point of view. And they put their hands up and they say something, and you're like, oh, yeah, I never thought about it that way. All right, so it's a great chance for you to learn and grow in whatever it is that you do. Um, so I got really kind of hot to do it. I really enjoyed uh, teaching guitar. Fast forward many years later, I got really interested in, in marketing. And I began to study and read all kind of marketing stuff, and per, as well as personal uh, development stuff. And um, I, I remembered what I had done with the teaching. I thought, you know, if I start giving this to other people, if I start kind of educating other people on it, I'm going to get even better at this. Plus, I'm going to be able to do a good thing for my fellow uh, musicians. So th that was my niche, is, is music. My, uh, that's my market. So I'm, you know, constantly talking to other musicians. So I, I have a whole video series. If you go to YouTube... You're going to see I have a whole video series on all sort of marketing and personal development things that I did. Many, many videos. Like I think I got 300 videos there. Um, and I really enjoyed doing that, but I wanted to take it even further. So I developed a podcast. The first podcast I created was called Lou Lombardi's Be Balls Out Music Talk. And that's still there. And if you don't have that, uh, shoot me a message because that should become part of your uh, package that you got from me. The big shock and awe package with all my music and everything. Uh, if that's not in there, we will include that. Um, and then that was my sort of like dipping my toe in the water. And eventually, I got into it full time. And uh, one of the, we, I was at a, a marketing uh, mastermind group. Uh, somebody said, you know, you should call yourself Ludini. So that sort of stuck. And I created the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus. And that has really grown from doing stuff like playing bands like like uh, like Dead Gumbies and promoting their music and telling people how to find their websites and about their gigs and stuff to doing things to a lot of things like interviews and I also write reviews for bluesrockreview.com so I've I like to position myself as the guy that's there to help how can I help um, I saw a talk 
uh, I went to, I attended a talk by a, a guy named James Malinchak. And if you don't know who James Malinchak is, uh, Google James Malinchak. But one of the things he said is most people approach their market with their hand out, saying, you know, gimme, gimme, buy my CD, uh, you know, come to my show, uh, buy, my, buy my merchandise, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Patronize my business. Okay. But what you really, but what he said, what you really want to do is you want to come with your arm out. It's like 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 a waiter, you know, with the, you know, the towel here. How may I serve you? What can I do for you? How can I help? So I try to take that approach with everybody that I work with. How can I help? What can I do for you? Um, first, first of all, I find it extremely just personally rewarding to do. Also, it's a great way to really create deep and powerful connections with other people in your market. So. Um, what you're going to get to know about me as, the, as you watch these videos is I like to help. I like to give little tidbits because I've learned a lot. Uh, if you want to go back and look at some of those other videos I have, that's great. Uh, please listen to my podcast as well. We always try to give, you know, as much as I want to pr do to promote the other bands, we always usually end up talking about some idea or tip or something that can help people. And you can apply it to your own life, whatever, whatever it is that, that you do. So... It's part of getting to know Lou Lombardi series. You got to know that I like to help other people. I'm really interested in marketing and I like to help uh, musicians and other people in the music business further their own careers. It's, 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 it's so much fun to do something for somebody and them to be so happy. And you just, it, it just creates an, an awesome thing. Um, so if you get a chance, guys, remember, go out and teach a little bit of something. You know something. There's always something you know that, that somebody else would be interested in knowing. And it's a great way to bring more into your life, if it's, even if it's just bringing in more gratitude and more friends and more fun. All right. My name is Lou Lombardi. Uh, the links, uh, I better throw the links at you, being a good marketing guy, right? Uh, if you want to hear the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus, go to podcast.ludinirockandrollcircus.com. And there's a blog there. There are uh, photos. There is, you can listen, just stream it. You can also watch uh, the YouTube version of it. So that is uh, the Ludini Rock and Roll Circus.com. Um, and please uh, pass along the link to my music, uh, Lou Lombardi Music.com. And that will uh, uh, bring in more and more and uh, uh, to people to, to get uh, the awesome downloads and everything that we have for you. So keep checking that. All right, guys, my name is Lou Lombardi. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in part three of Getting to Know Lou Lombardi.